Welcome to our foot exploration routine. This is gonna be a 10 minute follow along video exploring your foot function through some fun and play-based exercises designed to really challenge your coordination, your dexterity, and your overall adaptability through your feet. So to start with, it is ideal if you have a foot exploration kit, but if you don't have one, it's fine. You can use a tennis ball and a balled up pair of socks in place of the cork ball and the hacky. And we'll start by wearing your wild toes if you do have some, and we're going to start with some weird walks. So this is just basically walking up and down in some weird different ways. So first of all is a tiptoe walk. So up onto your tiptoes as far as you can. Now this might feel like a lot of pressure on the balls of your feet at first. If you need to lower down your angle, that's fine if you're just doing this and then gradually go further up. Or if you need to lay out a towel or some kind of mat to cushion the surface, that's fine too. But we're going 30 seconds for your tiptoe walk and then we're going into a heel walk. So heels down, toes up. And same thing if you need to change the surface, make it softer, whatever you need to do at first to make that comfortable. Grass is a really great surface for this, but trying to keep that up, keep those toes up and the heels down the whole time. If you need something for balance, you can do that too, like a broomstick or a dowel. So 30 seconds of your heel walk, and then we've got our pinky toe walk, or just pinky walk. So on the outside edge of your foot and just walking like that. Now the angle is kind of up to you. You could do less of an angle if that's too much of a stretch at first and then over time you can build up the angle to be more and more until you're fully inverted like that. So 30 seconds and then you've got your big toe walk which is the opposite direction. Again change the angle to suit your body and your feet but over time you can build up to that full big toe walk like this. You can go forwards and backwards with all of these. So 30 seconds on each of those and then you're going to take your wild toes out if you have been wearing them because they will get a little bit in the way with these next few exercises which will be starting with toe rolls for two minutes. So starting on your pinky toe, again, this is where you can use your tennis ball if need be, but you're on your pinky toe and you're actually just trying to roll your foot around while keeping the ball underneath your toes and then finishing with your big toe. I'll just show from the side, finishing with your big toe like that. If you want a bit more of a stretch, you can lean into that or you can even step forward with the other leg. But the main thing is you're rolling back and forth and trying to keep the ball under control. So a minute of that on one foot and then you can swap to the other foot. So even if you do have a cork ball and you're finding this a real struggle, you may want to try changing to a tennis ball just because it is a bit smaller and potentially a bit easier to handle and then you can progress to the cork ball but this will start, as you can see, this will start to get some really good stretches into not only the splay between your toes, but the extension through each toe. So it is quite a challenging exercise at first, but very rewarding when you get a good couple of reps in and you can really start to feel that stretch. Um, that from very challenging. So quite a challenging exercise at first, but it's very rewarding when you start to get it and nail it and you can really feel that stretch through the toes. So once you've done a minute on that side as well, we can move into toe piano. So toe piano is lifting all of your toes up off the ground as high as you can and then placing your pinky toes down first, if you can, and then going onto your ring toes, middle toes, pointers, and then big toes. 
So that will end up with your widest active toe splay. Let's retry that, all toes up, pinky toes down first, then little toes, rather ring toes, middle toes, pointers, big toes. And then you can try to reverse that. So big toes, pointers, middle, ring, and pinky. If that is way too challenging for you, you can just change to some toe lifts where you are just keeping your little toes down, big toes up, or vice versa, big toes down, little toes up. And if that's really challenging, you can actually just hold down your big toes and lift, and then vice versa, hold down your little toes and lift. Like that, until you get the coordination, and then you can build up. And then eventually, you can try and just put your pinky toes down and then back up. So just this is just ways to build up to the full toe piano. Eventually, with time and practice, more time spent wearing your wild toes, more time spent doing the toe rolls that we've just done, you will eventually build up to that toe piano. And that toe piano is actually an ideal warm up for all of our hacky exercises, which you'll see why in a, in a second. But first up, our first hacky exercise for one minute is just gonna be hacky circles. And that is moving the hacky around. So standing on one leg, moving the hacky around in a circle. Once you get to about that position, nine o'clock on, on an invisible clock, you can reach around the front and then bring that around. If you don't have a hacky and the balled up pair of socks aren't playing ball with this, then you can also use the tennis ball for this exercise. So 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other side. Around, trying to maintain your stability and trying to incorporate that arch control without letting your knee move in like that because that will throw you off balance. So keeping that alignment as much as possible, rolling around. So next up, we're just gonna do some hacky picks. So this is where that toe piano, like I said, is an awesome warm up. You're just splaying your toes as wide as you can, gripping the hacky and then just putting it down. So again, 30 seconds on one side. So this is a really good active toe splay exercise. If you're struggling with the hacky, you can try the balled up pair of socks because it is a bit softer and easier. And then you can build up to the hacky. But again, all that toe piano, toe rolls, wearing toe spreaders will help you build up the splay and dexterity. 30 seconds on each side, just getting used to gripping and dropping the hacky like that. It is a little bit frustrating at first. So we've been told by most people who try this, but we've also been told how rewarding it feels when you can actually eventually grip the hacky. And it does open a lot of opportunity to do new and different fun exercises. So speaking of which, the hacky compass. This is where you are picking the hacky with your foot and then you're placing it as far forward as you can in the north direction, like that. Placing it, standing back up, reaching to grab it again, standing back up and then going out to east. So you're doing all of the cardinal points on the compass and standing up between each pick and place. South, back like this. And west, around your body, like so, as far as you can. That may not be as far as I'm going, and obviously if you're losing your balance, you may just want to bring it a little closer, like that. Or it might even be just to there. Whatever your range of motion is, is fine. Once you've done all the way around on one side, you swap sides. 
And we're going to be doing a minute total on each foot for this. Reaching. You can go back around the opposite direction once you change sides. Out to west. Back to south. Now, if, if the picking is the main issue here, you can actually just roll the hacky if you want, or you can go back to the balled up pair of socks as well. Ideally, doing that full pick, and then if you've got time, you can repeat on both sides as you have been doing, but one minute each side should be enough to really get your feet working, your hips working, and your whole body. Um, but that is our foot exploration routine. You can keep exploring that for as long as you like. I'd recommend doing that at least once uh, a day or every couple of days and have fun with it, progress it slowly. As always, you can jump into our digital community and ask questions, share progress, share struggles. We always love seeing what you're up to and we're always happy to help.